Hello and uh, welcome to another TS81 review. You are uh, joined me in looking at this rather wonderful produce of from Hornby, this rather wonderful offering I should say from Hornby, um, of the class 4200 or class 42XX and this sample I have is a BR280T for tank class 4200 and the running number is 4266 and I have her in BR black with the early emblem on the uh, tanks okay let's have a look at the side obviously you see as a reference number is R3124 and obviously what I said before BR280 tank that's the wheel arrangement and it's a class 4200 and the running number is 4266 and obviously it's got DCC ready and that minimum radius on the curves is 438 millimeters which to my knowledge that would be second radius okay so no uh, tighter than second radius I won't run it on second radius preferably myself would be on flexi track but obviously you can see this is another new style packaging from Hornby and I'm uh, highly impressed with it it looks as if so they've gone to the same way as uh, Backman and I'm really impressed anyways take it out of the tray you just turn the box upside down just get my fingers underneath it's quite a tight fit it looks as it seems give it a bit of a wiggle there we go and we got some before we look at the model we've got some paperwork to look at it's the insert nice I do like it anything on the back no nope, not on that Sorry, mm, apologies. Um, obviously, uh, Hornby give a, a bit of uh, history um, on the actual locomotive you've purchased, which is nice of them to do. I'm not going to read it all, but obviously, you can see uh, locomotive designer by George Jackson Churchwood. Yes, the chief mechanical engineer of the Great Western Railway. And obviously he's the man that designed these uh, stunning tank locomotives. I really do like them. So if you wish to uh, pause the video and uh, read through, uh, please do. I'll probably try and get most of the information in. So, I think that's the actual, uh, that's the prototype of the model, Cardiff Central, yes, that's it, it's Cardiff Central, and I think it says something about the actual locomotive, locomotive number 4224 was the first of the class to be withdrawn all right in February 1959 and the last was number 4268 in August 1965 three of these classes survive in pres preservations so there's three of them preserved the locomotive represents represented in this pack number 4266 was outshot from Swindon Works, so she's a Swindon machine, and built on, well, outshot on the 30th of November 1919. Wow. And was withdrawn from Shed 86A, Newport. Is that Newport Ebel? Oh. I can't pronounce that. It's in Wales anyway. 
uh, junction on the 31st of August of 1962 and finally being cut up on the 28th of February 1963 at British Railways Cafillery Works. Uh, it's a shame she didn't survive. Really annoying that they uh, scrapped so many of these steam locos. But on the positive side, it's good that they saved a lot of them. A lot of them survive today, which is great fun for us guys. So we can go on them and visit them, photograph them, go behind them. And some of us lucky people even get to drive and fire them. And I have had the chance to as well. Really, really fun day out. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about that. Let's have a look at the model. Okay. As you can see, she's in the ice cube packaging. If I just slide the sleeve off, it's a lot more easier to take this Hornby sample of ice cube packaging off. Looks like we've got some details in there as well. Let's have a look at the details. Okay. What do we have? Oh, it looks like we have some brake rigging and we have a coupler and it looks like we've got a couple of vacuum piping. I think that's a step as well. Looks like it anyway. Yep, I think that's step. I think the other step is there. It's wedged in with a coupling look. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I shall fit them. And obviously I'll probably fit a decoder to her once she's been running on DC mode. And then I can fit a DCC decoder to her. Right, let's see what we get inside. And we've got some plastic... Um, some plastic protection instead of the uh, usual tissue paper. Okay, packaging aside, let's have a look at what we get. Now, I'm just going to have a briefly look at this and then we're going to have a look, uh, closer look at her. Only thing I'm going to say is that I, dis I, like, I like this locomotive, there's a couple of negative points and when they Hornby originally uh, produced these, the first batch of them, I did speak to uh, the marketing manager, what was then the marketing manager, I should say, um, Simon Kohler, and I did have a chat with him about the uh, there's no sprung buffers and it's a mo molded uh, smoke box door dart, and he has taken mine and other people's uh, uh, positive crit I say constructive criticism into hand and uh, the newer batch that are being released in this year 2014 apparently they have uh, a proper separately fitted uh, dart smoke box door dart so that's uh, good news so I am going to get a few more of these, but I'll wait for those because I, some models I have uh, actually gone to surgery on them and removed the moulded dart and fitted a, a brass dart of myself. So I have done that before. Anyway, yes, that is the only thing I would say about it. But yes, the other, other there's lots of positive points about this model. I really look at that. You can just about make out the cab detail as well already. <laughs> there you are, obviously you can see she's a two eight driving wheels and nothing at the back. Alright, let's have a look at her close up. Okay, just before I do uh, take a closer look at this uh, stunning loco, um I forgot to uh, mention about the uh, instructions, so let's take a butchers at these. I haven't done the paperwork. 
Ah, uh, okay. It's like a generic cool kind of style one. Class 42, 52 and 7200 class. Steam locomotives DCC ready and DCC fitted. Operating and maintenance instructions. Okay. If I just move the camera just slightly. I'll just lift her up. I haven't had a look at these yet. So let's have a look. So obviously we know about lubrication. So the, these are the first ones I've actually got of this uh, class of locomotive, and I will be getting uh, more. I will be getting the other ones, the uh, 42. No, I've already got the 42, 52, and 72. So yep, I will be getting more. Okay, so lubrication, body removal there. Uh, how to fix brake rods, that's which I showed you earlier on. More lubrication, and I must extremely stress this only put a little bit. You really do not need that much. I tell you, if you put too much on, it spreads around the track, it spreads everywhere. You only need a very minute amount. Okay, DCC ready, so that's obviously where the decoder is. Okay. And all oh, oh, accessories. Oh, the vacuum tubing. Okay. Okay, that's, that's nice. Television suppression again. Spare surface. Spare parts and services. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, Hornby are pretty good with uh, spare parts. So, okay. Let's take a look at the locomotive. Okay, you're join me with the 4200 class again in the white room so we can have a closer look at her. Let's see what sort of job Hornby have done. And from first glimpse, it's pretty impressive if I'm honest. I can't fault it get closer okay obviously you can see that um, Hornby have included these um, piston pipes at the bottom there this is the, it's the um, cylinder pipe sorry it lets all the uh, water build up in the cylinders out so you can see Hornby have added those already I haven't added them so Hornby have done that and there is a lot of rivet detail, there's a lot of rivet on the on the front here, if you can see. Let's have a let's move the model around slightly. Let's have a look at the smoke box. Obviously I did mention about the smoke box dart, which is there. That is moulded. But as I previously mentioned, the newer models out in 2014, they have uh, the separately added uh, smoke box door dart, which is uh, excellent. I'm glad Hornby have done that. You've got nice handrails. There's a handrail going around the front of the smoke box and around the sides. And obviously you've got these... Uh, the camera's got a bit blurry there, sorry about that. I'm still getting used to this. Also the uh, buffers, I'm afraid they're not sprung, I'm afraid. Uh, metal buffers, but they're not sprung. Obviously you've got these uh, support brackets here, and there's some uh, lamp irons, there's a lamp iron there, and there's one over this side and one over the other side which is there looks at... I uh, be very careful with the lamp irons they are very they're very fiddly and very easy if not handled correctly can snap off so uh, use caution when handling this model and be advised okay let's have a look let's... Okay, move the camera up. The chimney's nice. I 
if well, it looks to me if that's a separately fitted chimney that's, that's quite uh, impressive more riveting around the, around the side and we move the model down the side and we'll have a look at the uh, the tanks as you can see is a grab rail if I just point out the grab rail there and we've got the safety valve bonnet which is uh, in the GWR style safety bonnet safety valve bonnet which is nice there's some pipe work that goes round and also we got here is where we uh, obviously fill with water there's one on this side and one on the other riveting along the uh, along the tank side with uh, British Railways um, early emblem on the side of the tanks which is my favourite I do like that if we pan the camera across a little bit more obviously we've got the uh, running number and we also have handrail here and handrail here separately fitted it's not molded that is metal which is a nice touch and uh, obviously handrails to the uh, cap um, still plenty of rivet <laughs> there's lots of rivets on this model um, it has this E in a circle if anybody can uh, tell me please comment below and uh, can people tell me exactly I, I'm not too sure what that E stands for so if anybody knows please comment below let's have a look below the model obviously we got a uh, we got a uh, slim line tension lock coupler in a NEM pocket which is behind this I'll have to probably show you underneath um, there's some sandpipe detail which is there which is nice and then we've got the uh, eight wheel eight driving wheel arrangement as I previously said she's a two wheels at the front eight main driving wheels and nothing at the back so this is 280 obviously yep you can see some steps that go up to the cab I have to show you some views on the cab actually actually before I do let's have a look at the roof of this uh, superb model um, we got some uh, whistles there. If we just turn the model to its side, we have uh, a pair of whistles, which is uh, nicely added. I do like that touch. And also, if I move the model slightly to the side, we also have glazing. Those windows are glazed. Okay, I'm going to turn the model on its back. And also, if we have a look, there's some glazing on the rear here, and it's got a, a like a grill effect, which is a really nice effect. And an opening here, probably for ventilation for the uh, driver and fireman there. And let's have a look at the rear. Obviously, you've got the uh, nice red buffer beam. There's still a bit more detail to add some lamp hooks on the rear and some footsteps and some uh, we've got a, another lamp iron bracket there and we've got some separately fitted uh, handrails there which is nice and plenty of rivet detail again this model does uh, score high points in the rivet detail <laughs> okay you can just slightly see some detail in the uh, cab obviously I can't show you you know inside it because it's internal and uh, well I can show you bits of it through the cab window there I'll try and zoom in on it slightly I mean th this cab 
if the camera is making it out is superbly detailed for an enclosed cab it is, it is well detailed and Hornby have done a, a stunning job so hopefully the camera can make that out you can see all the uh, workings inside I can't really make out exactly what is what but it's all there it's all depicted out and painted which is for for an internal cab which is nice really really nice so I'm glad Hornby have gone through to the trouble of actually uh, of doing that um, obviously we're looking on the other side of the model now let's uh, zoom out Uh, basically it is the same as the other side there's a lots of rivet detail let's uh, zoom in here obviously you can see some uh, I think they're lamp irons which are just here and here and I think there's some uh, I think that's a mechanical lubricator there I'm sure that is and you can slightly see in between the frames just slightly which is a nice touch I'm really impressed um, nice uh, valve gear representation I do like that um, yes that's a stunning model Have a nice look. Okay. Let's have a look underneath. Obviously, you can see the tension lock coupler and the NIM pocket arrangement, which is uh, nice. And uh, all there's uh, pickups on all wheels, which is nice. You can see just about make out the pickups there. Yeah, and a nice, excellent feature. I wonder how she runs, and I think that is what I should be doing next.